Hey there guys. So today we're gonna try out try hack me keyboard. Over here we need to identify the critical security flaw in the data visualization dashboard that allow us to execute remote code execution. I bet you guys might be familiar with this logo. This is a Kibana data visualization dashboard. So over here we type Kibana. See, there's the logo for it. So over here, we go back to here. Why is the vulnerability that is specific to programming language with prototype based inheritance? So we go here, vulnerability. Okay, so as you can see over here, it shows that prototype pollution is the vulnerability that is specific to programming language with prototype based inheritance. So prototype pollution is the answer. Okay, back to here. What is the version of visualization dashboard installed in the server? So we copy this IP, go to here. Okay, first we need to know what support the running for Kibana this service. So here, Kibana port running. Okay, as you can see over here, it's running on port 5601. So we go to here, port 5601. And we found the Kibana. Okay, this service is running in 5601 this port. We like to load first. Okay. Okay, welcome to Kibana. Explore on my own. Now we need to know what are the what is the version that running over there. We go to the management. Over here as you can see the version that run is 6.5.4 so that's the answer for it and then what is the CVE number for this vulnerability that exploit the prototype that use prototype pollution to exploit okay so go back to here we search Kibana prototype pollution okay and then 6.5.4 is the version for it okay so this page Exploiting prototype pollution RCE in Kibana. Okay, so we check it out this page. This is a research paper that they wrote. Okay. Go down, scroll down. Okay, so we can specify the Kibana version before 5.6.15 and 6.6.1. So this version is within this range. Contain an arbitrary code execution flaw in the time Leon visualizer. So, an attacker with access to the Dime Leon application could send a request that will attempt to execute JavaScript code. So, with executing JavaScript code, this could possibly lead to an attacker to execute arbitrary command with permission of Kibana process on the host system. So, we can abuse this one to perform RCE. So, we go here, we check, can we access the Dime Leon or not? Okay, we let it run first. Okay, it seems like we have the access to it. Okay, so we we'll go back here. See how the person exploited it. Okay, scroll down, scroll down. Okay, so this is the code that to perform RCE. So we go here. We copy this code. We open up our assignment text. Okay, remove all this stuff first. Okay, so over here, this is the part that we can execute system commands. So, go and find our reverse shell. Reverse shell failure. Okay. Let's check out this one. We want to use that netcat without minus e the flag so this is the one we're gonna use this one to get our reverse shell so paste over here and then change this one to our IP and my listening port number copy here go back to here this one we can close it okay paste it over here we run it 
Okay, back to here. I need to open my listener port. Okay, we run redirect. Now we go to canvas. When we execute canvas, it will execute the arbitrary JavaScript code that we place in time million. So later on, we can get a reverse shell over here. So we let the load. Okay, as you can see, now we got a shell as a Kiba unit user. Okay, where am I? I'm in here. So go back to here. And as you can see, this is our user flag. Go back to here. Compromise that machine and locate the user.txt. So over here, we can get our user flags. So can we read it? Yes, we can read it. Okay, so now we want to get a more stable TT point shell, right? So how can we do that? Okay, let me check. Can see does the port 22 listening over there or not? Okay, port 22 is listening, so we can place our SSH, the public key into there, and SSH into Kiba user. Okay, so first we create the SSH this directory first, then echo. Now we want to generate our public and private key, this pair of key. So here I go to Kiba again. Kibana is okay. This is region RSA. Okay. Kiba RSA. Okay. Get my public key. And paste it right into authorize keys. After you write it, and then you SSH into it using our public private key. Okay, by user and the IP is 203.30. Okay, yes. And voila, we got our stable TTY shell. ID, yes, we are Kiba user. Okay, so now back to the question. Capabilities is a concept that provides a security system that allows divide root privilege into different values okay how would you recursively list all of this capability if you want to list all the get capability right we can use the command get cap r which means recursive starting from the root directory this is the answer for you but i want to specify this one to suppress anything that i don't have a privilege for it okay as you can see this Python 3D binary, we got the capability to set UID. So we can abuse this one to set the UID and execute a bin bash this command to get a root shell. How can we do that? First, copy and run this one first. We import the sister, the OS. Okay, import OS. And then OS.getUID. Now we are 1000, UID 1000, which means that we are in Kiba user. So now we put set UID, we place 0. Because we want to privilege escalate to root user, right? The root user UID is 0. So we want to place this one. And then OS dot execute bin bash p. Do want to let it to drop the privilege? Oops, not execute. System. Okay. Who am I? ID. And now we are in root right now. Our UID is root right now. Okay, so now we go to here. We capture our root flag. And that's how we can own this Kiba user server when the Kibana is vulnerable to this CVE exploit. Okay. And that's how we answer all these questions over here. So that's all for my videos. Thanks guys. Bye-bye.